year, getting an internship felt like winning the lottery. Everyone wanted one, but it was rare for a company to give us the time of day to even interview. Admittedly, there's no guarantee that you'll land an internship in your first year, but hopefully these tips will get you on your way. The first thing, which can sometimes be overlooked, is the importance of having a clean, professional resume. Admittedly, at first you probably won't have much to put on your resume, but what is there should be easy to read, aligned, free of typos, and only things that bring value. Recruiters are estimated to spend less than 10 seconds on a resume, and as a result, any fluff that you add to your resume to make it appear fuller is actually just detracting from what's really important on your resume. If your college offers them, I would definitely recommend going to resume review sessions, and if not, just swap resumes with a friend. If it finds you a mistake, this could very well make the difference between getting a phone interview and your resume ending up in the trash. The second thing is that you should be applying everywhere. I realize that you're probably not excited to work for every company, but everyone has to start somewhere. My freshman year, I was definitely naive when I started applying places, and in hindsight, I should apply to even more places. Every major is different, but for computer science, I can honestly say it's never too early to start looking for internships. Personally, I actually started applying for internships in July this year, uh, a full 10 months before I'm going to start my internship. Something I tried this year that was really useful was using a spreadsheet to keep track of every company I had applied to. I definitely recommend this to anyone who's trying to apply to a large number of companies. You're going to get a lot of rejections. Well, maybe you won't, but I definitely did, so stay persistent and keep applying everywhere. The third thing that's important is the skills you bring to the table. Ultimately, even if you land an interview, you still need to be knowledgeable enough to pass that interview and secure an offer. Unfortunately, since you won't have taken many classes yet, there's a lot of topics that you probably won't have covered yet. As a result, self-study. I consider my strongest language to be C++, and I do most of my programming challenges and interviews in that language. The thing is, I've never actually taken a single college course in C++. Teaching yourself new things puts you ahead of your competition, and this will give you a big edge when doing interviews. It definitely can be a lot of work, but it's worth it, so put the time in and teach yourself a new technology, language, or development style. The previous point had to do with developing the skills to pass interviews, but first you have to get the interview. That means your resume needs to stand out. It's about more than just having the skills. You need to apply them to demonstrate your knowledge and provide samples of your work. This is where personal projects come into play. You may not have professional experience, but building a GitHub portfolio or developing mobile applications is a great way to get experience on your resume. These projects can be small too. Companies don't expect freshmen to be developing applications that rival those made by big teams. More importantly, they demonstrate your passion, skills, and commitment, and I cannot emphasize enough how important these are to your resume. The fifth thing you can do is apply to programs that are designed exclusively for freshmen and sophomores. These opportunities generally have lower expectations in terms of work experience and technical expertise, and they can be a great way to get professional experience. Several large companies already offer these sorts of programs, and I wouldn't be surprised if even more start to add them as the field grows. Obviously, there's a lot of freshmen and sophomores who are applying for these programs, and spots are quite limited, but take your chances and you just might get lucky. My final advice is that you should know your data structures and algorithms inside and out. In my experience, these are some of the most common questions you'll get asked during interviews, and being able to provide good answers will set you apart from your competition. A common mistake I notice is that people wait too long to study up on this. A lot of people will wait until they've landed the interview, and then they'll cram like crazy the next few days trying to learn everything while keeping up with their classwork. You're much better off studying the summer beforehand and using those precious few days before the interview to just brush up on those concepts. This will ensure that things are fresh in your mind and that you have a deeper level understanding of the concepts. If you found this video useful, feel free to give it a thumbs up and to share it with other students. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe for more videos about computer science, internships, and interviewing. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.